Okay, today we're going to take a look at finding binomial probabilities using the TI-84 calculator. And in particular, we are going to be looking at the binome PDF function as well as the binome CDF function. All right, two very different functions uh, depending on what the question is asking for. We're going to use the PDF version of this function when we want to find the probability for a specific random variable x. So it's a specific x amount of successes. We will use the CDF version of this function when we want to find the probability for x or fewer successes. All right, and once you get those two things distinguished between, um, you know, the difference between the two of them, then you will easily know which one of those two functions that you're going to need to use. In my example here, we've got 80% of college students drink alcohol. You randomly select 15 college students and ask each if he or she drinks alcohol. Find the probability that the number who say they drink alcohol is for part A, exactly 10. Okay, so I want to know of those 15 people that I'm asking, what's the probability that exactly 10 of them are going to say they drink alcohol? So since this is a specific amount, I'm going to use the binome PDF function. All right, so um, I'm going to do second distribution. All right, now it's in the bottom of this list, so it's going to be to our advantage to arrow up. And then, because it's a shorter way to get there, till we get to the binome PDF function. All right, and then I'm going to hit enter. All right, and what it's going to do is it's going to come up. It's going to use the last numbers that I have put into this calculator. All right, and for this one, I have already done it. But how many trials? So in other words, I'm randomly selecting from 15 college students. So 15 goes in the first blank. All right, P is that percent or probability that they give us, so 80% of college students drink alcohol, so 0.80. The x value is the exact value that I am trying to determine the probability of, so that's 10. And then you're going to go down, it's going to say paste, and you're going to press enter, and then it puts it automatically into this format. Now if you've got one of the older calculators, um, you would not have gotten that previous screen and you would have just had to know which numbers to enter in what order um, across left to right there. But once you get to there on the newer ones, all you have to do is press enter and then that is our probability. So let's go ahead and enter that as 0.103. Let's just go out three decimal places. All right, now for my second example here, all right, find the probability that the number of um, who say they drink alcohol is at least 13. Okay, well, if I'm asking 15 people and at least 13 of them are going to say yes, what's my probability of that occurring? Then really, I have three distinct probabilities I'm trying to find that either 13 of them will say yes, or 14 of them will say yes, or 15 of them will say yes. So if you wanted to use the binome PDF function, you would have to do it three different times, once with 13, once with 14, and then once with 15, and then add them up. All right, but that is rather long. All right, a better way to do this um, would be to use the complement. If we want to calculate the probability that at least 13 of them drink alcohol, then that's we're taking the probability of x is greater than or equal to 13. Well, if I'm going to implement the complement, that's going to be 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 12, because my choices are if it's greater than or equal to 13, that's 13, 14, or 15. Well, the complement then would be 0 through 12, or less than or equal to 12. So then I would enter into the calculator 1 minus the binome CDF function, all right, because this is um, x or fewer successes. So the way I have rewritten this complement, it fits my binome CDF function being x or fewer successes. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. That would be a 1 minus. Now we want the binome CDF function, so second distribution. And I'm going to arrow up again because it's going to get there quicker. There's by my binome CDF function. And on this one, I am selecting from 15 different students the 
given probability percent that they drink alcohol is 0 0.80. And my x value in this case is going to be a 12. Okay, so let's go ahead, hit enter, and that value then is going to give us 0.398. All right, so um, an example of how you can utilize the complement and use that binome CDF, it's going to be way shorter than doing each of them distinctly, individually, and adding them up with the binome PDF. All right, now in the last example, all right, find the probability that the number who say they drink alcohol is less than 4. Okay, so in other words, we're trying to find the probability that X is less than 4. All right, now these are distinct all right, they're people. All right, so to be less than four, then we either either three of those people, two of those people, one of those persons, or none of those people will say they drink alcohol. So um, since I have to have for the binome CDF function, I have to have X or fewer successes. I can't do it with just an X is less than four. So then I'm going to rewrite this into a less than or equal sentence x is less than or equal to 3, because it's either going to be 3 people that say that, 2 people, 1 person, or none. So once I rewrite that actual probability of what they're asking for, then I can use the binome CDF function. All right, so let's go ahead and calculate that last one out there. So second distribution, again arrowing up to make sure we get to the binome um, CDF quicker. All right, and then hitting enter. And putting in 15 is going to remain the same. The 0.80 is going to remain the same. And I want to switch that one to a 3. Hitting enter, coming out, seeing it in that format, and then hitting enter one more time. Now, actually, I'm kind of glad it did this. All right, all this has done is just put the answer in scientific notation. So basically, this E with a little negative 6 there really means times 10 to the negative 6. So that would be 6. The decimal needs to be hopped 6 places to the left. So really that's point and then 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then a 1, 0, 1, 1 on that last one there. Okay, so um, just three different examples and hopefully I kind of touched on when you would use the binome PDF versus when you would use the binome CDF. All right, the differences between and then you've just got to think about how you want to do that. Like do I want to use the, you know, the PDF one over and over and over so it's really long in the calculator or can I utilize something like the complement and make it a whole lot easier. So um, definitely thanks for watching. Hope this kind of clears up the difference between those two um, functions on the calculator and helps you with your binomial probabilities. Thanks for watching. Be sure and give me a thumbs up. Thanks.